Hey guys, so today I have my August show and tell to share with you. Um, but first of all, I wanted to welcome you to my month long challenge. Um, I'm probably completely nuts. Um, but I've set myself three 30 day challenges this month. Um, for the whole of September, I will have a video go live. I will have a blog post up. And I will be posting on Instagram using the hashtag 30 days of red. Um, I've been wanting to see the 30 days of red challenge for a long time. So, um, yeah, this should be fun. It's going to be a lot of work, but I think I'm up to the challenge. So, um, yeah, wish me luck. And I will just jump straight into this video. Um, in my last show and tell, I included books, but because this is going to be quite long, I'm going to put it in a separate video because I have a quite a few books to talk about. I think I have about 10 or 11 books to talk about. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep those separate for just now. And I'm just going to jump right into the beauty products you ever have those months where you kind of go shopping and then you put it all together and go what the hell did I do I had one of those yeah August was a really long month for me I don't know why it just went on and on and on forever and then when I put together everything that I've picked up in August because I've been in town a lot this month um it was a lot so I'm kind of on a no-buy for the whole of September. Potentially the whole of October. We shall see. Um, but yeah, starting with some hair care, I did pick up more of the uh, L'Oreal El Vive Extraordinary Clay Shampoo. This is one I spoke about in a couple of other videos. This is an amazing clarifying shampoo. Um, it has three different kinds of clay in it. It has... No, it doesn't say. But it has three different kinds of clay in it and it sort of helps um, combat oiliness in your scalp without drying out your hair. It's amazing. It's a game changer. Um, although my hair does look a little bit greasy at the moment because I put a little bit too much hair oil in. My bad. My bad. So I did pick up two of those. Um, they take me about three months to go through. So... Um, I'm good for shampoo for a while. Not that I wasn't before, but I totally am now. I picked up some new skincare because there was a few new releases come out. Um, first of all is the Nivea Cream Care Cleansing Cream Wash. And I saw this advertised on TV and it's like, um, it's sort of taking the technology in the classic Nivea cream and putting it into a face wash. This is super super gentle um it does take off makeup it does not however take off eye makeup um so you will have to use a separate cleanser for that um but if you're looking for something to help take off your makeup without drying out your skin or leaving your skin feeling too oily this is great or if you're just looking for something to um like gently cleanse your skin in the morning after you've thoroughly cleansed it the night before this is a good thing for that it's not um it's not clarifying cleanse it's an extremely gentle cleanse so if you're, you're looking for something to like you know scrub your skin with this isn't for that um this is for a skin that's not excessively dirty um but yeah i would recommend it for um even for oilier skins but I think it would be amazing for dry skins, especially for like a morning wash. I have been enjoying it. I also picked up the new Neutrogena Hydro Boost because I used to love, I still do love, the Neutrogena, the orange face wash. Face wash. Um, I haven't had it for a while, but if I do want to change my skincare, I usually reboot back to that. Um, this is the Hydro Boost one and it has hyaluronic acid in it. Um, it comes out as a gel. Um, it's really, it foams up really nicely. Um, well, not. It lathers, it doesn't foam. There is a difference, I swear. 
<laughs> um, it does remove a good amount of your makeup and everything and it feel leaves skin feeling really really clean but not dry it has a bit of a tackiness afterwards i will say i think that's probably something to do with hyaluronic acid um when i used hydroluron um the uh serum with hyaluronic acid it left a little stickiness behind it so i think that's probably why but i've only used this once i did like it um i will continue to use it and i will get back to you on what i i think of it i picked up another botanics product this is the smoothing facial oil i wanted to get this last month but they, they didn't have it in stock so I picked it up this month and this has, see I remember the box, I kept the box. This has um, purple orchid in it. Is that it? It just has purple orchid. Oh it also has almond oil, jojoba oil. Rosa matcha seed oil, moschata seed oil. Um, I will have to look that one up um, unless that is what the purple orchid is. I have one from Clarence that's blue orchid and I really enjoy that and I've used this one so far already and it is, it is quite a dense oil on the face but I woke up with my skin feeling amazing, like amazing. So, yes, excited about that. I did also pick up a Nivea night cream, which is not in this box. It's probably in my room. Um, oh no, it's up, it, it's up there. It's all the way up there. It's like, ah, oh, it's like three feet out of my, my grasp. But I picked up the Nivea Night Cream for dry, sensitive skin. It's amazing. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Um, it's a lot better. I picked up the one that's in a tube rather than the one that's in the jar. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna go get it. I'm, I'm sitting down. I'm not gonna go get it. Just take my word for it. I got the one in the tube, not the one in the jar. Um, I also picked up another tub of the Kiehl's Night Cream. I have been using one from Botanics and it's nice during the day, it's nice and light for during the day, but at night I want something a little bit more hydrating, something thicker. And I really liked this. This has avocado in it and um, it's a really... you can see it is quite a it's a really it's it's quite thin for like a face cream but for an eye cream it is quite thick and I just slather all over the place and it's amazing 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 I've used the whole one before so I'm glad to have one back have this guy back and it came with a little sample of the Huel's ultra facial cream which is something I've wanted to try for the longest time but it's kind of expensive and you get a lot of it at one time like it comes in big like 25 50 gram jars so yeah this is a seven mil jar and um it doesn't have a smell or anything and it's 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 so so thin it is ridiculously thin it just oh really thin so I'm going to give this a try just has no smell whatsoever so and it feels really nice when I've, I've I've only ever used it on the back of my hands to like test it like that and it made my skin feel really nice on the back of my hands so it may make the skin and my face feel really nice so yeah looking forward to trying this out yes <laughs> um segueing into the makeup yes I bought a lot of makeup um, I placed an order with Boots and there was a gift with purchase with Lancome 
and it came with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, it came with a bit of skincare. It came with the Bifacil eye makeup remover. This is full size. Um, so yeah, it came with this bad boy, which um, I've used before and I wasn't that keen on it then. But I don't think I really knew how to use it. This was about five years ago I got a sample of this and I wasn't that keen. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this another try. I also got a full size of their um, Jelly Cla Cl Clarifying Cleansing Pearly Foam. I've used this once. It is super good. It reminds me of the Estee Lauder um, brain fart. The Estee Lauder, eh, the one that they don't make anymore. Like they don't make any of the good ones anymore. A perfectly clean. That's it. It reminds me of the perfectly clean from Estee Lauder. So I'm super happy to have this. Um, but yeah, that was like amazing, amazing free gift. If that wasn't enough, if that wasn't enough. They also put in a little sample of the Energy De V, which is their new skincare line, which I think launched earlier this year. It's the one that's all green. And this is a liquid, a liquid moisturizer. Smoothing and glow boosting liquid care. And I believe this is a liquid moisturizer. I will have to do a little bit more research into how I'm supposed to use this because it didn't come with any instructions or anything usually in the little samples they still have that little fold out piece of paper but this one doesn't so yeah um it also came with a little sample of the um lancome hypnotic mascara which is always nice to have a sample of that and it also came with a full size of la base pro hello um, I think I, I I think I struck big with this gift with purchase. I mean, look at it. Frosted glass bottle, everything. I didn't even know this came in a glass bottle. It's just so luxurious, so luxurious. Um, so yeah, I'm super, super excited by that. And I will show you now what I bought to get this gift with purchase. First of all, is one of their lip liners. And I'd seen TT Sandra use Lancome lip liners in her videos and I couldn't remember which one it was she was using so I just kind of went and looked and saw which one I liked and this is in beige rose and it just looks like this oh, it's so so pretty and judging by that little swatch it will it's quite um it's quite a hard cream pencil which means I won't have to sharpen it very often Ooh, excitement um, I also picked up two blushes from Lancome because I've been enjoying Brun Roche so much that I wanted a couple of other shades from their range. Um, one of them is pretty crazy. The first one is Rose Sable, which is a beautiful pinky blush. I will hold that for you. I am going to have a blog post up really soon with swatches of these, so you can keep an eye out for that. And this one is Rose Indian, which is crazy bright. Boom. I wanted a pink that was dark, but wasn't cool toned. This is more of a warm tone pink, which will go a lot better with how I do my makeup. I have had a lot of problems with pinks being a lot more cooler toned and they end up going on very dolly pink. This is more like sexy East Asian kind of pink, you know. It's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be just so freaking pretty. Whilst we're on the blush train, um, I picked up two from Dior. You know, just casually dropping money at Dior. Um, as I say, this is going to be the last I'm spending for a very long time. So, yeah. 
Oh no. Tell a lie. I only picked up one from Dior. I put another one in here. I was filming. No. I was taking pictures for the blog and I put things in here that shouldn't be in here. This is Brown Millie, the blush that I bought last month. So no, this is not new. But I will show it to you anyway. This is Brown Millie. It's like a cool tone, just for purpley, mauvey brown. This one is beige nude. More warm toned, more peachy. I'll tell you what it is. I was going to get to and then I stopped myself because I have got some restraint. Um, I was going to get Bronzissimo but I decided to get Beige Renewed instead and this is beautiful. Again, I will have swatches of this up on the blog very, 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 very soon. That's the whole point of this 30 day challenge. I have so many reviews that I want to do, so many things I want to talk about that I just haven't gotten round to so now I'm forcing myself, forcing myself to get round to it. Continuing on blush, MAC. I remember mentioning once about comparing something to Mocha and then realising I didn't own Mocha. Mocha, Mocha, whatever. And um, I had added it to my car and taken it out again. So I bought it. It is beautiful and looking at it now, it does look very similar to Brown Millie. It's like a warm, a warmer version of Brown Millie. Slightly warmer. Um, but yeah, again, I wanted to do a, a blog post on sort of browner toned sculpting blushes. So that should be coming very, 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 very freaking soon. Um, Soap and Glory released some new blushes. I believe there was a total of three shades and out of them there was only one that I like to look up and that was Rosy, Rosy Chic. And this is it here. And there's a little, there it is. Isn't it pretty? And it flips up and it has a brush in there and it comes with a little mirror too. It's very compact, um, very um, makeup bag friendly. How many grams is in this? You only get like 4.7 grams, which, you know, it's fine. Especially if you already own a lot of makeup, you're not gonna, um, you might actually have a chance of getting through this. So I'm excited to give this guy a bash. Um, I'm gonna do a get ready with me video for a couple of them using these products, just so you can see them in action. Lastly, on the blush front, we have Sleek. Yes, you're counting right, there are five. I used to have sleek blushes a long time ago and I tried to depart them and I did a stupid thing and thought, hey, why do I need to put them in the oven to melt the glue? Why not put them in the microwave? Hmm, why do you not put metal in the microwave? Moron, actual moron. Um, so yeah, I ended up doing that by mistake. They were in the microwave for all of three seconds, smashed all the mirrors. There was glass everywhere, or just, they just went in the bin. There was, there was no salvaging my stupidity. So, <laughs> and that again was about five years ago and I've, I've missed sleek blushes. I used to use them so much. So these are the ones I picked up. Um, they've got so many new shades now. It's like, ah, I just scored my thumb through that one. They have so many new shades, it's nuts. This is Suede. I've been using this all week. I freaking love it. And then we have Sahara. Oh. This is the one thing I haven't missed about sleek blushes. They're a bit of a bitch to get into. Oh, gorgeous. I love me warm blushes. Love them. This one is antique. This is why I tried to depart them. This is what happened. This is antique. It is gorgeous. It's like a cool toned one. Um, I'll swatch this one because it is just so different. And again, I thought this one was very similar to Brown Millie. Oh, it is. Like it's, it's cool toned, but it's still got enough warmth to it to be 
wearable for me. And then we have rose gold, which is the classic dupe for Orgasm by NARS. And lastly, we have coral, which when I had them before, this was my most used. It's like a happy marriage between Sahara and suede. It is stunning. Love it, love it, love it. I think they used to have a shade called terracotta as well, but I didn't see it anywhere. Um, but yeah, sleek blushes. Sleek blushes are love.